So he just says what we think. So for us to get that mad at him, we have to really be mad at we ourselves. Disagree with what he says. Yes. But we're actually we're not. secretly agree with it because that's what we're kind of thinking. We're just not voicing it. He's voicing a lot of our private thoughts. Ooh. Ouch. Leave your closed mind at the door. It's time for Carl and Mike. Whoa. Welcome, Carl and Mike. I'm Carl. I'm Mike. Carl and Mike, not really sponsored by ShutTheFuckUp.com. Rated last in customer service, three years running. That's ShutTheFuckUp.com, a subsidiary of I Don't Give a Fuck, wholly owned by The 1%. Oh, they're a new sponsor. A new sponsor. A new not sponsor. Not re- no, not they're really. not really sponsored by. I like them. Yeah, shut the fuck up. That's awful yeah. nice of them to be involved with us. That's yeah. good. Yes. Well, that's lots of negotiation went in that. <laughs> it did. I asked for 10%. He said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that was our agent that was doing yeah. it. Who, who, was our, our, who would be our agent? We need an agent. Dudley. I think it's a female agent. You do? We, I think it needs to be. Natasha. Natasha? Natasha. Yes. Na- Natasha. Natasha Goody. N- Natasha Gooding is our agent. Okay, yes. Natasha Gooding is our agent, and she will be negotiating all our contracts. Yeah, she'll be getting all the not really <laughs> sponsored by sponsors. Okay, so and if anybody really needs to negotiate some sort of contract with us, and God knows what that b- would be, do call Natasha. Yes, Natasha Goody. She's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here we are in the corner bakery in the corner booth, back That's in right. back in your your home. Yes. Your home, our home yes. away from home. Life is good. Yes. Not really. I went to the dentist. Oh. Yes. Turns out I've Did you been, get the gas? I did get the gas, but you um, really... Well, you don't like the gas? I, I, I think it's they should like have... It's count gen- backwards from 10, 9... It doesn't put burnt. me out. It doesn't? No, I got the laughing gas. Oh, okay. Not the, not the gas gas. They, but they give you the kind where they hook you up and you can breathe as deep yeah. as you want. Yeah. See, now that's good. That's good shit because you can get but, some good nose hits on that. I know, but they need to have like a, they need to have like a, a dial up, like get, get you to guffaw or chuckle or something. I just get kind of just don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm at the don't give a shit level on the, night, on the gas. We just kind of lay there and go, ah, I don't give a shit. I like to just lay there, lay back, relax, kind of meditate, and just take some real deep breaths. <laughs> and each the deep key. breath. Maybe oh, I didn't yeah. take enough deep breaths. But you know, the real bummer is, is when they pull you back out of it, they give you, what, straight oxygen or something yeah, like that? Yeah. Well, it turns out this uh, $3,000 plus dollar implant that I got. Oh, you got an implant? Yeah. Where? It's gone. It didn't work. Oh, it didn't work? Oh, or they it's pulled broken. it out? They had to pull it out. Now they want to talk about doing it again. Oh, okay. This is, and it's a like, new improved implant? Yeah, a new, another $3,400 <laughs> implant. And an implant is just a, a tooth with a little something? screw on yeah. it. Yeah, can't they it's do a little bridge screw. or something? Well, that's the other option. Yeah, we'll do look a bridge. At the bridge. Do the bridge? Do you have I, a bridge? Well, uh, yeah, I do have a bridge. Here's an option for a bridge on you. This is a workaround that I did right after I got out of college. I went to Baylor Dental School down there. Uh-huh. And they have to do, they are looking for people that need bridges and stuff like that. And that's uh-huh. how people get their, they take their uh, final exam by doing a bridge. That's part of the deal. So the students are doing the work, but the professors come along and check it each step of the way. And the bridge that I got uh, was free. You got a free bridge? Free bridge. I think I paid a little something for the gold that they were using back then, yeah. but that's when gold was like $35 an ounce. It lasted for years and years and years, and every dentist that ever looked at it remarked about what a good bridge so that was. you had was. a good student. I had a good student. She got an A. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but you know, every one of them has got to be checked off as they go along. It's not like they do the bridge and the and it, you're stuck with it. You know, the dentist, the, the teachers will come along and go, no, you need to do a little more work in here and here and here and prep work for this, that, and the other. And, then, and that would be a way to get it for free. Hmm. But bridges are good, but you've got that little gap underneath there. You clean that out. Yeah. Here we are talking about teeth. Yeah. You're getting old, Michael. You want to talk ear hair? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nose oh. hair. It's yeah, what is it? Is what, is, what is what is it? That, hair I don't know. Why all of a sudden it's, do, do it's you get joke. like these shrubs coming out of your ears and your nose and your nose? Yeah. And you lose your hair on your head. Yeah. Cruel. Yeah. See, it's 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 backwards. It's some sort of bad joke. 
and you're losing your eyesight so you can't see it and it also the holes the, the ear holes happen to be on the side of your head where you can't really see it much and everybody right. else is getting to uh yeah. enjoy that but right. uh, and you know your ears get bigger as you get older yeah yeah uh, shit. why doesn't like your dick get bigger when you get older but what are you going to do with it well that's true <laughs> hello viagra Carl huh? Mike, sponsored yeah. by. You just get a bigger limp dick. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like you know, this whole uh, God is infallible kind of thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it off. I think he made some errors yeah, in, the, in the production here. The hair thing for sure. Yeah, and didn't go back and correct his right. mistakes. Didn't correct, you know, like that, that student did the bridge. I'm giving, I'm giving God a B. Yeah. B, B minus in some areas. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Growing the ears as you get older. That's a, that's a. In skin mark. tags, you know, skin, skin tags. Oh, I hate skin tags. I what hate skin tags. Yeah, they just. So what's that? All of a sudden, they pop up out of nowhere. They've decided that you're you, you're you, a. You've you've grown enough, and so the skin's just going to keep growing. No, that tag this it is up. what they're doing is slowly eating eating away at you. They're, so they're going as you get older like this. They're not moving as it's fast. It's like becoming a human something. lint ball. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go get those removed. Yeah. Oh, you get like them removed. They're gonna, grow, they're gonna grow right back. I know. I know it's not cheap. It's like you clip one, and five come back. You yeah. know, it's just like <laughs> you know, you got to root those hogs or something. I don't know what the deal is. So again, I think there's some room for improvement <sighs> here. Room for yeah. improvement is what I'm yes. saying. Yes. Room for improvement. Yes. Uh, you, you talk to the man, see what you can come up with. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's gonna be up to us, Michael. Up to science. Maybe there'll be an app for that. An app for skin tag? Why not? Well, it was just, just going to say, a little yeah, laser you got out. one. Shoot a little laser oh, a little out laser. just zips it right up. Yeah. Zip. Or sandpaper. You can sand. That's old school. Or you snip them. Ouch. Well, well you go to the doctor and them. what do they do? They snip, they snip them. them. Yeah. yeah. But they put a little zap on it. They put a little. Uh, Cold. Yeah, or they freeze them. They freeze yeah. them. Yeah. Kind yeah. of do a little freeze thing. Yeah, I have this uh, this dermatologist well, we go to. I call her the doctor of fire, ice, and blood, because yeah. she'll either burn it off, freeze it off, or cut it off. Whatever it That's is. That's right. So now that all the forty-year-olds or younger have left the show, yeah, they barfed. <laughs> yeah. What else is going on in the world? No, Speaking let's, of let's, old, huh, huh, yeah, Speaking Ebby of, Halliday. Yeah. Now, for those of who don't live in Dallas, Texas, Ebby Halliday is the first lady of real estate here in Dallas. Died and, at one hundred four years old. What a neat lady. Uh, you ever meet her? No, but I went to a thing. It was a uh, a, a dinner in her a benefit. Not a, I don't know if it was a benefit, but it was in her honor. She was the guest speaker. I think it was about the time she turned. She was almost a hundred, I think. Right. And she died at what? One hundred four. One hundred four. Yeah. She got up and talked, and I thought, my God, what an incredible woman. Yeah. And what an incredible life she's led. And I like the quote in the article where she says, uh, "Work like a dog." Yeah. Act like a lady, yeah. you know, and that's that's a very cool way to be. Yeah, but, she's but, uh, an amazing lady. Yeah, you know, I like this. They said she treated everybody like they were the most important person on earth. Yeah, uh, you know the opportunities she gave women in Dallas mm -hmm. back in the forties. I'm, I'm assuming there really weren't a whole lot of women yeah. that had opportunities in the forties. Mm -hmm. So way ahead of her time that yeah. way. Yeah, and uh, and you know how many times have you seen an Abby Holiday sign? Yeah. A all lot. over Dallas. Yeah, they're all over Dallas. And um, she just, we've got a friend that works for her. And Paula always talks real highly of her. Always has. Yeah. And just, and she works in the same building over there around the, just next door to where she lived. And Probably, so uh, she would pop in, you know. Uh, Abby Holiday and Mary Kay, those two women. That's true. Probably defined about that. Dallas business. Yeah, uh, for a lot. Women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? And then there's Ross Perot on the men's side, yeah. probably. And yeah. uh, I don't know who else huh. on the men. I hadn't thought about uh, Mary, Mary Kay, and both of them came yeah. from here. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And both around the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Pioneered yeah. Uh, opportunities for women. Yeah. So Dallas has always been that. You know, if I had to define Dallas, you know, if Austin's weird, Dallas is, Dallas is money, don't you think? Yes. Dallas is... is uh, business yes i think the number one corporate office is here uh the number one um franchises there's more franchises that are in dallas in dallas well there's a lot of restaurant franchises yeah. there's, well, a, there's a, lot a lot of them start here to yeah test it out yeah they test it out yeah they test it out here and then run it out but it's a town it's a business town it is well there's really it used to be where the 
people from Houston and Austin and San Antonio would put their banking, right? With yeah. Done in Dallas. Yeah. You not know, so much anymore. It, everything. I mean, it's spread out more for work and stuff like that. It's still a place where people been. come. Yeah. Yeah. I did. That's yeah. how I got here. Yeah. I mean, I was out of Texas was the place to come. Dallas was the place to go. Well, people don't come work. here for the mountains or the no. Uh, or the natural you amenities. You really do come. No. If you're going to come to Dallas. You come here to work. You come here come to work. Here to get yes. a job and work and opportunities. And uh, I guess it's kind of always been that way. Right. I don't know. It really has. So every holiday, a legend in Dallas passing at 104. And there's not too many people like that we have anymore. And be able to live to 104. I mean, that's. Yeah. You know, I had an Absolutely. aunt that a, had a great aunt that lived to be 101. My mom will probably grow to be real old. You know, like I think that. in She'd 1900, in 1900, the average age of American was 44. Yeah. 44. Now, uh, 2000, it was like 72. I think now it's 75. Yeah, you get trampled by a plow horse back then. Yeah, or lots yeah. of diseases. I yeah. Mean, but, you know, so it's picked up. It's almost not quite doubled in 100 yeah. years, and it's going to double faster now. You know, there's the science out there. Yeah. Uh, is dramatically increasing. I think the opportunity for people to live 100, 150 is going to yeah. be pretty normal Yeah. Uh, as we go forward here. Yeah. So, uh, how about this uh, fucking political thing that just will not die? The Trumpster? There was something. The Carly Fiorna? Yeah. Have you heard about that? No, what's... <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. He's really done it this time. Oh, did he say something about her? Oh, he said something about her looks. Oh, yeah. what did he say? Uh, well, here's the the best part. Did he say she looked kind of hard? Uh, yeah, like who would ever vote for her with that face? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, wait, I gotta I gotta pull this up because it's it's almost well it's it's, it's, real, so tr it's, it's pure good. Trumpian. Yeah. It's Trumpian. It's Trumpian. Trumpian. Is that yeah. a word? Oh, which is it, now. It is now. It should be, yes. yeah. If it isn't, we're going to make it. That's so here's what I, this is my favorite because it's so, yeah. it's so Trumpian here. Trumpian. So <clears throat> uh, Trump says he did. <laughs> okay. So Trump's saying, no, 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 you guys got it all wrong. I wasn't talking about her looks. I was talking about her persona. Okay. But here's what they published. Here's what he said. Okay. Here's what, so you tell me if this says to you, Looks or persona? Ready? Okay. Here's what he said. Look at that face. <laughs> Would anyone vote looks, for that? Looks, Would anyone vote for that? Looks. Can you imagine that? The face of our next president? I mean, she's a woman, and I'm not supposed to say bad things, but really, folks, come on. Are you serious? Eh, I think that's pretty much looks. <laughs> That'd be yeah. looks. Yeah. No, no, he's saying no. No. Not looks. Persona. I'm talking about her persona. Look at that face. I think so the key he's word here is saying, do you face. <laughs> Are you going to believe what I tell you or believe your lying ears? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. What, you know, you know I, it's, <laughs> here's the thing. There's something unique that's happening here. He's a multi-billionaire. Yeah. Okay, you don't usually get to see the insides of multi -billionaires. The super rich. Yeah, no, we're seeing the right. insides. I think, you know, a part of America striving to be a billionaire, right? Striving to be financially successful as part of the whole American dream, right? So but we kind of associate great knowledge and smart wisdom mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. all the good things intellectually. Obviously, they must be very smart. They you know, were able to figure out how to do something I can't figure out what, how to do, which is to make enough money to retire and be multi-rich, right? But it turns out really no. Are we, are we getting a chance to peek behind the curtain, we curtain have, of, the, we, of the very rich? And he's kind of the, the poster child for the billionaires and the I'm, way they that's think. That's what I'm and, saying. Oh. <laughs> that's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. Well, didn't we get enough of that with... Because uh, I don't think you have to think that much when you're super rich. We, we didn't get enough of that with uh, Mitt Romney and the 47%. We need more. We did. That was that was My, little, Romney that was little, part of it. Romney was that like yeah. meme... But Trump has that too. Romney was rich, but he's not wealthy. Yeah. Now we're talking about it's stepping right. it up a little bit. And getting you saw there's a, Romney wasn't at the super rich level. Yeah, I don't think so. Was he a billionaire too? Was he a billionaire, or was it just <sighs> like right a few hundred, there, yeah. a few hundred well, million? You know. Well, he had an elevator in his garage. Yeah, I'd so, say he's you know, for his cars. But Trump is different. Trump is giving us the full Trump, if you will. The full Trump. We're getting. We're seeing it. I mean, the way he talks like that. With the Rolling Stone reporter. So it's kind of like the full Monty? Yeah, We're getting the full Trump? Oh. We're getting the full Trump on oh. this, don't you think? That sounds like But I mean, this is like... an episode name? This is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is like the id. He's just the id. He's just straight id. 
He's talking like a 14-year-old. I mean, he really is. Look at that face, you know. Who would ever vote for that face, you know? He's kind of like the 1% I, unplugged. He really is, yes. He, he's like the 1% <laughs> unplugged. unplugged. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> I mean, and that's uh, has a weird attraction, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, just the sheer spectacle of it is beyond what I've ever seen. But did that kind of make it cool? It really does. Yeah. In a bizarre way. And you just go, how far can he go? Surely calling another woman ugly, it's gotta be the, it's gotta be the killer though, right? No. No, this no. doesn't kill him? No. Look at the women he surrounds himself with, his yeah. wives, his yeah. daughters. Yeah. The, Carly the, is a the, bit. Oh, she's hard. She's hard. She's hard. She has a hard a, persona. Well, she has a hard look. But uh, is that be, are we being sexist? Because we would say that about a man. But we do. We make fun of Trump's hair. See, here's the thing. Men, and maybe women do this too. I don't know. But I'll just speak for men. May I? Men for all men? Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah. I surrender my manness to you. <laughs> Thank you. You may answer Thank for you. me. Men <laughs> will make fun of men's actions and women's looks. Yes. Well, that's what we think. And women are just the opposite. They make fun of each other's looks, but men's actions. So women do the same thing, is what you're saying. Except in reverse. But a guy doesn't make fun of another guy's looks. Right, but women do. Can you yes. believe the shoes she's wearing? Oh, I yeah. can't believe that. This dress is much too tight on her. Yes, we're more look action. Look at what it does makes her butt look big. I mean, can you see a guy going, uh, can you see me coming out and go, Carl, dude, what's the deal with the pants? They make your butt look big. No. No. Not going to happen. No. Uh -uh. Or Carl, those shoes really don't go with your we're outfit. really action-oriented. Do you that's really care about do. the outfit? Well, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. no, that's, and so that, so I think, but see, Trump surrounds himself with really incredible looking women. Now, does that give him a pass to make a comment like that? No. Does it give him cover? No. I think he's lived in this bubble of yes men for so long that he just yeah. feels he's going to say whatever yeah. he wants to say without any consequences. I mean, really? You're talking to a Rolling Stone reporter. You're Donald Trump, so yeah. you know Rolling Stone's liberal yeah. to begin with. Did you read that that article about that Rolling Stone guy that get, went on board the plane and interviewed him a little bit? Trump was showing him around the plane. He was bragging about the right. plane, 757. Right. Oh, greatest plane uh, ever. Uh, greatest plane ever, biggest plane, it's not. It's bigger than Air Force One, it's not. But it had right, all right. the leather and the, the crest yes, embroidered yes. in the leather. The buckles were all gold-plated. There's something about somebody that has to gold plate everything. I don't give a shit what it is, they gold plate it. It makes my teeth hurt. It reminds me of Saudi sheiks. Maybe that's because you have gold fillings? I do have gold fillings, Maybe but that's I don't why it makes I don't, your teeth I don't, hurt. I don't, I don't know. There's, well, it could be. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? I, I know. mean, people I that just have got to gold everything. Yeah. It's like gold chains, gold this, gold that. That's you Trump. Know? It, yeah, that's Trump. That's right. There was a guy on uh, Joe in the Morning this morning. He is kind of this guy that always brings charts and graphs. And right, I can't right, right. Yeah, I know you know who he is. About, yes. And he was talking this morning. The odds makers still say it's going to be Bush and Clinton. Really? Yes. And the odds makers have been right on something like 33 of the last 34 elections. It so it's going to end up so Bush get, and Clinton yeah, at the end still, of the day. They still think that it's. But, you know, I'm thinking this could be another one of those things where they're wrong because everything about what's going on is wrong. Trump will step on his dick one too many times. Yeah, I don't know if he makes it all the way till. He's got to make it like all the way till next July. Yeah. You're talking a year, just about. Yeah. But what does it say yeah, about least, the people that support him that keep supporting him even after he well, does? Well, I think I think they will. There is a, a group, but I think I don't see how he. And they I don't won't see how he grows if, that if he's base. not if he's not their uh, representative, if he's not their candidate. They're not yeah, going to vote. They're going to stay, stay home. They're going to stay home. How They're you not going to transfer. How do you stay a woman? The only thing that I can see that he gets away with it is people look at Carly Fiorna and say, well, she is hard, like we did. So there's an element of, of what, truth to it? Yes, there is. It's a hard thing to say, but I think everybody that looks at her thinks the same way. So he just says what we think. So for us to get that mad at him, we have to really be mad at ourselves. Disagree with what he says. Yes. But we're actually we're not. secretly agree with it because that's what we're kind of thinking. We're just not voicing it. He's voicing a lot of our private thoughts. Ooh. Ouch. No, I'm serious. Is he doing that? Is that what well, he's I doing? Have he's he's I don't say that I never said, oh, look at that face. She'll never be president. Yeah. I just thought, that woman's yeah, hard. Just, yeah. And and it's not just her face. It's it's, combination, it's the way she talks mm -hmm, about mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. and, 
And I'm sure there's women out there saying, oh, look at them talking about women. Oh, no, there's going to be I that. can there's look at guy, be, Ted Cruz as a dick. Oh, yeah. You know. Now, why has he not attacked him? Those two are buds. They're buds. They just did this uh, thing yesterday in, yeah, about with the, the Iran deal. You see Palin in there talking about fairy dusts and unicorns and shit like that. Palin's no, she was. That she, shit, no, crazy. She is. And, Palin, which, and he wants her. He likes her. And, uh, I don't get that either. They showed that this morning on Joe, I don't know, what is Palin Joe and Mika. About, uh, about the Iran protest. Huh? Yeah, they, but it showed Palin. It showed all three of them. And what then is Palin, Palin was the last one. She so spoke then they too? cut back to the they cut back. So it was Palin, Trump, and Cruz? Yeah. And, and the they, trifecta? Yeah, and so they <laughs> the they, cut, they cut back to the news people and all the other right. pundits that were sitting there. And they they cut back to this one specific lady and I can't remember her name. She's very attractive. She's but she's a Republican operative and she was just had this like stunned Kind of a smile, just shaking her head a little bit. Really? Would not say anything about it because there's nothing you can say because Palin is bat shit crazy. I mean, and she's hard looking now. I mean, real hard looking. We can say that now because Trump's opened the door. Has he opened right? the door? Yeah. yeah. No, but you know, I mean, she's crazy. She's fucking crazy. Yeah. And then Joe goes, yeah, McCain. Anointed her or something to that, but you know, yeah. that, well, in other did. words, he gave her the open the door. She for could have been uh, uh, next in line to be president because of a bad, yeah, oh, oh, dodging a bullet there, yeah, yeah. But let's talk about this Iran deal. Mm -hmm. So, number one, this isn't like uh, uh, this isn't Obama uh, negotiated. Mm -hmm. Britain signed off on mm -hmm. this. France signed off on this. China signed off on this. Mm -hmm. Russia mm -hmm. signed mm -hmm. off on this. Mm -hmm. We're talking the big powers, the yeah. ones that sit on the inside circle of the United Nations. Yeah. They all signed off on this. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, you know, Trump, this is the worst deal ever, and I don't know what mm -hmm. the hell Cruz said. It's about the same thing. Yeah. You know, and, and the Republicans trying to pull stuff now in the House to try to derail yeah. this thing. Where's the grown-ups here? They're pulling they out all got the stops to deal. bitching about it right now because it looks like it's going to go. Right. It looks well, like it's going to go. Well, and so Trump go. says it's the worst deal ever negotiated in the history of the world, right, okay. which is just insane. They never talk about the alternative. They, when they get pressed on what they, they would have. They don't have Oh, we would have gotten more in the negotiation. Gotten a better deal. Gotten a better deal. That's well, it. That's money a better like quarterbacking. Deal. That's like saying, you know, I, I would have left that pitcher in, you know, after yeah. the games. Yeah. I mean, my understanding of it is basically – for better or worse, we stop the sanctions, and and Iran puts things on hold for 15 years, mm -hmm. and then we'll relook at it mm -hmm. 15 years from now. Is yeah. that am I wrong? Is that what you yeah. get out of what this yeah. thing is? Yeah, it basically puts it off. But then here's the other part of the problem that's that's fueling those people right. is uh, yesterday the high Ayatollah or whatever the fuck his right. name yes. was. You know, he came out and said that Israel won't exist in 25 in, years. Yeah, Israel won't exist in 25 years. So all that yeah. does is yeah. add fuel to the fire that they're yeah. stoking. Well, hey, I don't, I don't think Iran's any uh, prince here. No, huh? No, not at all. Yeah, not at all. And so they're uh, a problem. But you know, but the idea is either nuclear weapons already exist in the Middle East. Hello, yes. Yeah. If I recall, we negotiated with Russia during mm -hmm. the Cold War. Mm -hmm. You have to do that mm -hmm. with the bad guys. Yeah. yeah, There's there's this element now that's this, and this is that Cheney Wolfowitz group. You know, oh. they just don't want to negotiate. They would, so it's war. So either we we kill if they killed the deal, then they start building the bomb tomorrow. And and why Netanyahu has any credibility on this? A guy that says they're they're two years or a year away from building the bomb, and he's been saying that since 1992. 92. This yeah. is 2015. Do yeah. the math. They still haven't built the bomb. I mean, how many times can you cry wolf on this? Uh, have, well, how, evidently quite a few times. Uh, yeah. He hasn't yeah. gotten away with it. I just uh, don't see how he has any credibility. Well, I don't either. But, you know, then they dust off Cheney, and he's sitting there. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, really? You do know, you want to hear him, Cheney? Yeah. How would he have any credibility? How do you create the most biggest U.S. foreign policy mistake, which was that president? It will be. Yeah. It will go down in history as the biggest foreign policy mistake. Right. And that war in Iraq is what unleashed all the all bullshit, bullshit that's it's going today. on. Because yes. as long as you – was Saddam Hussein a bad man? Yes. Did he threaten to kill uh, W's daddy? Yes. 
he wanted to do that. Right. Was W upset because Daddy and the neocons upset because they did some of they didn't go all the way into Baghdad at the beginning? Yes. So they came in try to re try to correct all the things that they thought was wrong, and we had checkmate right. between Iran and Iraq. Right. Now we don't have checkmate because no. we don't have checkmate. We've got all this other shit that's blowing right. up, and it so, ain't over. And, and it's Obama's. It's, it is and, not. And it's Obama's over fault yet. because we didn't just continue to stay in Iraq. And, and it's not over yet. And I agree that probably what will happen is Israel probably won't be around. I'm going to say that right now. I probably won't be around in Israel? 25 years the way it is today. No, because look at what they're surrounded by. Unless unless you wipe ISIS off the face of the planet. But how does that even happen? Because they just regenerate. ISIS isn't a bunch of people yeah. born in ISIS land. No, they no, come from no. Saudi yeah. Arabia. They I, come I from. I don't know how you do that now. I just anybody that gets an inkling to be an ISIS, you know, just, you get no. rid of. I don't you think know, it works. It, no, you, it, it, it would be a wholesale killing of the first order on somebody that had a different view than you did, and that would be a really tough thing to do. I, I do think ISIS is a virus. It's like a virus in the human body. Yeah. Uh, right, this thing mm -hmm. is a killing machine. It kills whatever. Mm -hmm. It destroys whatever. And then, how do you get Are a vaccine for something like that? How do you get? What is the vaccine for ISIS? What is the vaccine? But you and I have both argued, get out of that neighborhood. Well, we get out of the neighborhood, but that doesn't vaccinate everybody. That it, it, you know, as long as as long as they're able to to promote and recruit through the web, yeah, through the web, that's not they're going away. And that's not going away. And uh, the only way you do that is you cut the cord. We can't cut the cord huh? with the internet. No, you can't cut the cord because if you, if you think that they're sitting in Baghdad recruiting over here, no, they're sitting in London and recruiting. Exactly. And, and Philadelphia so the, recruiting. The recruiting isn't happening. And probably I'm yeah. going to say there's lots of towns in, in ISIS land that don't even have internet connections, right. let alone electricity. Right. So I don't know. I, don't, I, you know I, just, I don't know what the answer is. I really don't know what the answer is. I think the answer is we get to stay out as much as possible. You know, Saudi Arabia and those people need to step up. Well, Saudi Arabia is going to have to because they're next in line. They're in the crosshairs. Well, they got to. They got. They got to have. They, they want Mecca and Medina, and they want the old guys in the sheets they want out that of there. Family out. They yeah. want them out of there. Yeah. So there's self-interest for Saudi Arabia to do something. Yeah. You know, we're moving into a really nasty period. Yeah. That's going to be some sort of outrageous third world war in the Middle East. You think? Yeah. We're going to World War Three. is going mm -hmm. to happen there. Yeah. The only reason it probably so hasn't. Russia goes so in to help Assad, and what well, is they, the U.S. What counter? Would be the only, what would be the main? So we thing? have a proxy war, like uh, oh, Vietnam. No, I don't even think it's going to be a proxy war. I think it's just going to be full out go get them. We, We're not going in there and lighten up that part of the world to begin with, is because we got to have what they got. Yeah, you their still think oil. it's about oil. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think, well, yeah. I think we're all buried into it now. Let's yeah. try just getting out and seeing what happens. Could yeah. it be any worse than what's happening now? No. 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 And Obama's getting a lot of pressure today. He's going to get talked to mm -hmm. by all uh, the European Union countries who want mm -hmm. America to do more. So. And the Pope's right around the corner. And here come the Pope. <laughs> going to give a little, a little liberal talking yeah. to to the United oh, States yeah. here. And the Pope's going to meet with Putin. In New York, they're at the UN. Is he really? Yeah, that's going to be an interesting down for the conversation. UN, huh? Can we get can we get somebody to record that somehow? With a little Putin is, uh, Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome? Somehow someday, get a video get a recording of, of some private of conversations. Somebody, oh yeah, a little, a little waiter sticks a little mm -hmm, microphone somewhere. Mm -hmm. you get a little Dick, Ch uh, not Chain, a little Mitt Romney, forty-seven percent talk yeah, going on. Yeah, we you want to hear that? Uh, we, yeah, we want to hear that back of, that, that, back of house shit. Yeah. It's we, coming. Coming yeah. to an internet near you. Yeah, coming to the internet near you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit, man. Um, Trump and Cruz. Yeah. I think those two are going to join up. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the only reason he could possibly have for not jumping his shit. Cruz gives him credibility with the uh, evangelicals. evangelicals that he doesn't have. That's a ticket, don't you think? Trump uh, Cruz? Talk about a horror show. Trump Cruz, yeah. I think that's the way it shapes up. At that point, I don't think it really matters who the Democrats run. Yeah. They'd win. They win. Yeah. In a landslide, I think. I think. Times are odd. <laughs> so very odd, but sure, mm -hmm. surely you must be joking. Which require <laughs> odd solutions. Yes. You know, 
part of me is I'm just still believing that the Republicans aren't totally crazy. I don't know why I still believe why? it. Why? After all the evidence you've got? Did you watch Huckabee go up to uh, Kentucky yeah. with Kim Davis yeah. and, and cock block Ted Cruz when he was up yeah. there? Ted Cruz, wanted to go, Ted Cruz wanted to go to the microphones. And he did what? And and Huckabee, one of Huck, some of Huckabee's was, people. Even he on the kept, stage? Every time he tried to go this way, this guy would step in front of him and step and, and Get cock block. No, I'm serious. Oh, I didn't see he that. Co- oh, yeah. No, he cock blocked him. A little cock blocking action. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And I thought so it was. I was wondering re- where they said Ted Cruz was there, and, a visitor and, in jail. No, no, no. no yeah, no, 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 no. And so what happened is the news media picked it up. That he was getting cock yes, blocked? but uh, Cruz didn't say anything, which I think was probably a good move on his part because the next day he was going to go to this deal. Thing with Trump. He yeah. let, let the news yeah. media do it. It made Huckabee look like a, an opportunist and petty. Well, and here Kim Davis just, speak, too. That oh, was, that uh, poor woman. You yeah. know, I mean, she just she needs attention. It's the reverse Rosa Parks. <laughs> yeah. Would you have people like her? taking those kinds of stands yeah. if there was not any sense that she was going to get on the national news, the cable news, the newspapers, the magazines, and everything like that. And would Huckabee be there if the cameras weren't? No. If follow nobody the cameras, was, if nobody absolutely. was, if, yeah, follow the cameras, follow the money. Well, I don't have any doubt that this woman believes her bullshit. No, she can believe her stuff. That's that's fine. I, I don't I, know if she's that sophisticated to think uh, steps ahead. Oh, if I do yeah. this, I'll get on TV. No, or whatever. it's just like you know. I mean, you can believe whatever you want to. She's making and, eighty thousand in rural Kentucky. She's you can got be- a good job. Believe whatever you want to. There are people that come in that need surgeries that are Jehovah Witness. That if it requires a blood transfusion, they won't have the operation. Really? Yes, they they will not have the operation if it's a blood transfusion. But they will literally refuse a surgery that is. Life saving. We should do a show at some point on religion versus technology. I mean, <laughs> I remember, you know, when cameras came out, they stole your mm-hmm. spirit. I mm-hmm. mean, that was the mm-hmm. belief. There's mm-hmm. just. Yeah. Anyway, there's just craziness yeah. in the world. We're in this weird time, you know. We're in this amazing thing where they can take the fetus's heartbeat and send it to the doctor mm-hmm. off the watch mm-hmm. and the watch mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. give the information the doctor mm-hmm. can communicate mm-hmm. back. And, and on your TV now is going to show you your. your, yeah. your me and where the thing is. I mean, just really amazing shit. You've got this kind of prehistoric religion mentality. I don't see how uh, there's people that are making these things and using technology in amazing ways and doctors mm-hmm. are doing these things. Mm-hmm. you got this amazing intelligence over here and then you've got this, this religion-backed... Well, there's a reluctance to uh, I don't know, man. accept That's a it or a world. I don't know what the reluctance is by some religions to accept certain things i don't know it, it's uh, I, I don't really have a have a clue you know it's like with with uh huckabee was on uh, joe in the morning they were and joe was grilling him you know and joe's a republican yeah, yeah. and he was nailing him on uh on hypocrisy and using the bible to justify yeah. all this kind of stuff and he's nailing him on several different things within the Bible. And yeah. Huckabee, all he could do is have that that uh, disease of certainty smirk on his face that a lot of religious people have. That kind of, oh, you poor, poor soul. You just don't know what I know. You don't believe the way I do. And I'm I'm going to humor you, and that's all right. Even though yeah. you're it, even slicing the dice in me, yes. logically yeah. yes. and intelligently. Yes, yes. It, there is a, a complete stonewall to hear or believe anything that challenges those beliefs you can't allow any challenges to those beliefs because, because if you have one right the whole f- facade falls yeah you can't allow that wall to be chipped away yeah. because if it, it, once you start it's over so anyway well we've done it again yep it's a crazy world we live in and we're just commenting on it here at carl and mike And uh, all I got to say is, shut the fuck up, (laughs) dot com, Huckabee. (laughs) Oh, and thank you, sponsor. Yeah, so hey, check out Carl and Mike at carlmike.net. All all our stuff is there. Support the podcast at I support carlmike.net. How many supporters do we have now? What? What? We have, (laughs) what, one? Define supporter. We don't even have two supporters. It's a numbers game. 
You only get one supporter for every thousand. Oh, okay. We're working our way up to that. Someone <laughs> out there, be brave, be bold, support Carl yeah. and Mike. Yeah, send us whatever you want. Yeah. No dirty underwear. No. No. no dirty All right. Underwear. Peace. Out. Peace.